Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Drew here from Alone Fox and today is an exciting upload because it is the last space makeover in my apartment. I've been making over spaces throughout this apartment as many of you guys know over the past year or so. I have done the dining room, the kitchen, living room, my bedroom, my roommate's bedroom, my Lone Fox studio room, multiple bathrooms. It has been a long journey and today we are ending it with my personal bathroom makeover which was one that I have kind of been scared to do and I also want to give a huge thank you and shout out to Benjamin Moore for sponsoring today's video and supplying the paint for this bathroom transformation. I'm going to keep this intro short and sweet because we need to get into this makeover. It is going to be a long one today, you guys. So grab a cup of coffee, grab a cup of tea or a snack and stick around because I think you guys are going to love this makeover. So let's get started. So this is the bathroom space. So as you walk in, we have this large wall to the right here. It's actually a pretty large bathroom, I'd say, for like a Los Angeles apartment. It has two vanities on each side. Now, the vanities are not really my favorite. I don't think they're super cute, but I do have to keep them as is. This is the one thing that my landlord does want me to keep because they were just recently installed. But he did say that we could swap out the medicine cabinets, which is really nice. And then there are windows as well. The windows need some help too. Working on over here, another vanity. And then we have the bath here, um, which is kind of like just a freestanding bath. And then behind the door over here, there is a shower. I think I'm gonna do like a shower curtain here, something longer and fabric-y. I don't know, I just like that vibe a little bit more. So that is basically the whole bathroom space. So I kind of want to give you a general idea of what my plans are in this space. So. Of course we have the flooring. Now the flooring matches our walls in here, which I am just not the biggest fan of. I don't love that this specific tile was used in this uh, bathroom area. However, I can't really change the wall tile, but I can totally adjust the floor tile. So I think I'm gonna do a peel and stick tile in here on the floor, which I'm excited about. But the biggest change, which I think is going to make a total impact is going to be the wall molding. I am doing board and batten in here once again, which I've done it in a couple spaces throughout my apartment, but honestly, I'm kind of keeping that as a cohesive theme running throughout the space. I'm just excited about it. I love board and batten in a bathroom and I'm excited to see it in this space, kind of over here, around here, around here, and back here. Now in this specific video, I'm not going to share with you guys every single step I did to create this board and batten. I have done multiple tutorials on my channel in the past and I'll link the full tutorials in the description box for you guys. That way you can follow those. All of our horizontal boards are installed for the board and batten. And as you can see, they are pretty high up, but the ceilings in the bathroom are really high. So I thought it would be nice to kind of elevate the height a bit more with the board and batten detailing. But here's kind of the issue that I'm running into. So basically the two vanities have a very, very flush mounted drawer. As you can see, it's really close to the wall. So I can't have any boarding that's going to kind of interrupt the drawer from opening. But yeah, so I kind of have to keep that in mind because this spacing is gonna determine the spacing for everywhere else because we have to keep in mind these drawers are here. And so we're gonna need two pieces here. So let's continue on with adding the vertical boards. boards have been added on the wall. We have them on this wall here. We have one on this wall going all the way around to our first vanity here. This one, as you can see, I made sure that it was centered. That way when we add the mirror, it looks pretty nice on there. We have it over here and on this vanity as well. I'm just gonna quickly go through and caulk all of the edges here so that way we can go back and start painting. already know when my hair gets crazy like this that means that we are having a productive day the board and batten is completely installed it has all been prepped and we are ready to paint with today's video sponsor which is benjamin moore i'm so excited i love benjamin moore paint it's always my first option when i choose paint i'm not too sure if i'm going to be doing the window trim um i guess i'm just going to kind of see as i get up to it so let's get started with the painting 
When selecting my paint, I went ahead and opted for the Aura range by Benjamin Moore. This is perfect for any bath or spa or essentially any high humidity area, so that's why I knew this range was perfect for me. And I actually opted for the color called Backwoods, which is such a beautiful dark green color. I absolutely love this. I really wanted to add some mood and depth to the space, so I opted for this color. And the thing I love about Benjamin Moore paint is just how high quality it is. You guys, the coverage is phenomenal. It is a one coat opaque full coverage. I've only maxed with like darker colors such as this one had to do two coats just to ensure there really are no streaks but you can totally get away with one coat with a majority of their colors and you guys they have over 3,500 unmatchable colors more than any other paint company and they're all available to try on their app as well they have this really unique try on feature which I love we were able to test colors through your space without having to kind of commit to painting that color Something about this color, you guys, is just making me so happy. I love it on the walls. It is perfect. It's coming off more green, vibrant, and lighter on camera. In person, it's much, much, much darker. Um, I'm just obsessed with it. So let's keep continuing on. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's all done. It is crazy to see such a dark color like this go on so smooth and opaque with just one coat. That is why I'm always, always opting for Benjamin Moore whenever I have a painting project. And I suggest you guys do as well because they really have such a great range of colors. The quality is unmatched. It doesn't splatter. It goes on super smooth and they have an extremely rich color. And on top of that, the value is truly worth it. Like the paint stretches so far and you really get so much out of the quality. And if you guys would like to check out Benjamin Moore, use the link in my description box below to purchase paint or paint samples online. For one day's work, you guys, I am very happy with this. All of the board and batten has been applied, as you can see here, and I already did one full coat of the Backwoods paint by Benjamin Moore. It is looking perfect. This is all still drying over here. We have a little bit drying there, and I am just obsessed with the way that everything is looking. I think the darkness and moodiness of this color is really making the vanities pop, which is great because they were blending in so much before and just looked really like stale and boring, so I love this. Also, you guys, I literally only use like two inches of this gallon of paint to paint the whole bathroom. The Benjamin Moore paint stretches so far. It is so full coverage. I am just obsessed with this color so far and I think this is coming along great. Very happy with day one progress. Now today, I'm going to attempt to DIY my very own Roman shades, which is a very daring thing to do. I watched a couple of tutorials on YouTube and I can tell you guys right now, it looks like a challenge. Now, because it is a challenge, I'm going to link below the tutorial that I'm going to be following for this project and kind of just share a couple glimpses at me creating them. I'm gonna go out and get my materials right now. I thought I'd bring you guys along with me and we can see if I could create some Roman shades. This is the fabric I'm going with. It's like a really nice textured kind of linen. It's $29 a yard, it has a green stripe in it. So like I mentioned, I ended up following the DIY Mommy's tutorial, which I'll link for you guys, of course, in the description box. Now, I am just not a professional sewer myself, and I really don't know how to speak about sewing properly, so I just decided to follow her tutorial, do my own thing, and they actually turned out really, really great, you guys. I'm so excited for you to see them in the space. I am at Target now. Um, I'm looking at vanity mirrors because I need a mirror for above both vanities, of course, so I'm gonna need two mirrors. They need to be pretty large because our board and batten goes pretty high, but I did find this mirror, which is the one I was eyeballing. That's why I came to this Target. It looks something like this, you guys. It's from Opal House. I really like the shape of it. It's almost arched, but it has a little bit of detail. I like the wood trim on it as well. I think it adds a nice bit of warmth. I can only find one at this Target, so I'm hoping they might have one somewhere else, but I do need to check the size first before I purchase the other one. And I'm probably gonna look around Target a little bit more because you can never leave with one item. We are continuing work on the bathroom today. Now, I don't think I've shown you the finished paint job yet. I went ahead and I painted the rest of the bathroom off of camera. I did two full coats on the backwoods color here. Today, I wanna go ahead and install the new flooring. So I have my box of flooring here. It is peel and stick tile. I got it on Amazon. Okay, 
Guys, so this is the tile. I love this. I think it's so cute. It's like this little star pattern. It has a bit of blue in it and some gray with some white. And we're gonna start that process today, which is pretty repetitive. It's kind of a time consuming process. We can go ahead and lay down the flooring and I'll make sure to link this one below for you guys if you are curious. Palinstick Tile is one of my favorite renter-friendly options and honestly, even non-renter-friendly options. I'd probably do this in my house if I owned one because it's super affordable. I think I only spent about $75 changing the entire flooring in this bathroom. And when you get to small little nooks and crannies, all you need to do is use a ruler and a pencil just to kind of measure out how much you actually need for that space. Trim it out with a pair of scissors, stick it down, and you are good to go. Crazy hair is in action at the moment, which means we have conquered some good progress in the bathroom, you guys. The flooring is probably like 96% complete. It is a little bit messy in here, but look how great this tile looks, you guys. It looks so cute with the vanities. As you can see, I still have this section to finish over here and that section over there. I have one pack of tile left, so I ordered the perfect amount. Sorry if there's some knocking outside. They're doing construction as well. Um, but the tile here, I just love how it's different now from the tile here. This just gives the bath its own moment and the floor its own moment as opposed to having them flow together. I'm gonna finish it up and head back for our next steps, I guess. If you can see, I went ahead and brought up the mirror and the size looks perfect. Now it's actually gonna be mounted to where the top of it's probably gonna be about right here-ish and then it kind of flows over the white and onto the board and batten and then it's probably like this far or so off of the top of the countertop. But this looks so cute. I'm going through some of my hardware and actually swapping out the hardware on the vanities. I wanna see if I can fix this door here. It's so out of place. But I already went ahead and kind of tested out this little set of hardware here. These are actually super cute little rattan knobs and then I have this one as well which happens to fit perfectly I actually got these ones at my parents house in Arizona at a little small shop and the rattan ones I got on Amazon a long time ago I haven't been able to use them yet and they just match and pair perfectly so I figured why not go ahead and put these on the cabinets just to kind of elevate them a bit more so I'm gonna go ahead and on the other side swap the hardware out on these cabinets as well new hardware is installed and I love it um, I might go ahead and change it as things progress if it doesn't look like it fits but for now I'm gonna keep it there it just makes me happier than the old silver it also coordinates back to that shelf that I might potentially also put in here but besides that point I want to go back and go ahead and paint the window trim so as you can see the current window trim is white and I'm gonna paint it green so it pulls the window up above the board and batten hanging a mirror that has two of the hooks on the back side, which can be a little bit challenging to make it nice and even. A tip that I learned, or I saw on TikTok a while back, was to take some painter's tape and just go all the way across, making it nice and straight, basically meeting up at the same points. And then take a pen and just put right where you would need your screw to go on the tape. So on both sides. And then you can literally transfer your tape to your hanging surface. You can use a level or whatever you want to make sure that it's nice and straight, but basically it indicates that you need one screw here and you also need one screw right there and you're just gonna screw them right in and you are good to go. So let's hang up the mirror. mirrors hung. I feel like I've conquered quite a bit today. I did the flooring, I did the mirrors, the window trim, and I just want to get one more thing done. But I ended up purchasing these off of Amazon. They are little wooden kind of screw in hooks. And what I thought I would do is across this uh, section of the wall here, which probably would be where I'd hang towels or just like anything I want to add to accessorize the space. I thought I would go ahead and maybe put like one of these like every single vertical board and then right in the middle as well. So maybe one, two, three, four, five total hooks right here. And I also wanna paint the hook the same exact color green so it kind of blends in, but it still has a functional purpose. Functional purpose? Functional, functional, functional. You know what I mean. And I'll link this below in case you're curious. They just screw right in. I'll probably end up drilling a pilot hole though just to make sure that um, it's pretty easy to drill them in. Next 
day on the bathroom project and I've had such a great start already. I went ahead and installed the curtains that I sewed completely from scratch and you guys, I just wanna share them with you. They turned out incredible and I love them. They are perfect for this space. So as you can see over on the left window here, this is what the shade looks like when it's fully down. Now all you have to do is pull the strings and it starts going up like that. But this is what it looks like once it's up. I'm going to style them up most of the time, but of course if I'm showering or things like that, I can easily take them down. And they're still light filtering, which I love because I didn't want to have any blackout scenario here where there's no light coming through, but we still have the privacy element. We are back in the car. I am heading currently to do a little bit of shopping for the bathroom, which is really exciting. I feel like I have not bought bathroom accessories or like bathroom anything in so long. So I'm just gonna go to Target and probably CB2 as well because it's right over by Target. I know they have some great bathroom accessories. I just want a couple of cute accessories and decor to spice up the space a little bit. I have a lot um, in my personal collection already, but I want some new stuff too. So we're gonna head to Target and see what they have. I'm in Target right now. I'm in the Studio McGee section. Um, um, and I love this vase. It's the same vase I ended up using in my grandpa's room makeover, but I think it would be really cute with the color palette that I'm going for. I've always eyeballed this jug every time I come here, but I never pick it up. So I think I'm going to grab it this time. I'll probably end up using one of these two, but I'm going to grab both just so I have some options. So far so good, I found a couple of cute accessories. I got this little um, plant here. I just thought that would be simple for a bit of styling. I got this little tiny woven kind of canister and then a couple other items. I thought this storage basket was super cute for 10 bucks. I thought it would be perfect maybe as like a trash can. And this little teak box I found as well, which I think I'm gonna put on top of the toilet. I just stumbled across these really cute little like fluted wooden soap dispensers. They're in the hearth and hand section. They also have a little wood matching piece and I think these are really cute too. I do need a shower curtain as well. I quickly stopped by World Market on my way back and I found some items, more so styling items like some soaps and I found a vase and a couple of other cute things. So grab those and I'm headed back to the car. It is the last and final day of the bathroom makeover. Marie is over here and she is putting some tape on the windows because you guys, the windows in here, they need help. They're crusted, dusted, and essentially rusted. So I'm gonna go through and sand off all that weird brassy paint and then go back and spray paint them with a black finish. That way they look nice and clean. I also have a couple other things I need to do in here. I want to go ahead and sew a shower curtain for the shower area here. Same exact shower curtain that I actually sewed for Marie's bathroom. So it's gonna be the same dimensions absolutely everything is the same. I'm just gonna cut the shower curtain to the proper width and then sew that remainder piece onto the bottom to make it longer. And yeah, then it's just gonna be styling in here, which is really exciting. I've already kind of gone through and added a couple little things just to get an idea for what it could look like. But let's go ahead and get started on today. I'm gonna start with the shower curtain and then we can start decorating. Window is looking insane, but I wanted to go ahead and make sure to protect absolutely everything. I created this like tent with paper towels around and I'm gonna go through and give this a coat of black spray great pants. So I just removed the tape from this window after painting it and it looks so much better. It's so hard to show you how it actually looks because it's backlit, but I'm hoping you can tell the difference from this crusted, rusted window. And it's just like so dinged up and dingy and you can see the silver underneath. So I'm gonna do the same process, sand away all of the flakes and the gold and then paint over top of it. And we should have two windows that look something like this. She's got the phone cord twisted around her finger. She's a side 
it has been another long day of work, but the bathroom is complete and the transformation, the before and after of this space is Truly pretty crazy you guys like I am loving the way that this ended up turning out I cannot even believe it's the same bathroom This was a space I was so scared to actually make over because it just didn't have great bones to start But I feel like what I did with it really works and I'm so excited for you guys to see the final clip So let's go ahead and share with you the final outcome of my bathroom makeover this bathroom makeover and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I absolutely loved creating it for you I hope there's not an echo in this outro but I just wanted to again thank you guys so much for watching today's video and supporting my channel if you are not already make sure to subscribe to my channel I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week here on Lone Fox you can also follow me over on TikTok I've been posting so much on TikTok that is Lone Fox home same with my Instagram and I would love to know what your favorite part of the makeover in this bathroom was I personally think my favorite part was the paint. The paint totally transformed the space. I feel like I'm sitting in like a cute little like hotel bathroom situation. Like, I don't even know. It just seems very moody, but it's still bright, you know? It's still interesting. It has character. I just really, really love the transformation in here. So do not forget to check out Benjamin Moore. Definitely download their app, you guys. It is incredible if you do not have it. I use it all the time for testing out colors in my spaces before having to go paint them. Um, and get yourself some Benjamin Moore paint for your next painting project. I'll link below the ones that I use. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'm going to take a bath because I feel like I deserve one after all of this and I'm gonna admire the bathroom. So I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys.